my God, it's Kayshawn. welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today we are still in quarantine here in Oregon um, we are on day three I think yeah I stopped working since Tuesday so it's been yeah, three days <laughs> and honestly you guys it feels like an eternity I'm like I don't know what else to do like should I clean my house but then I really want to like catch up on my YouTube content here for you guys but I'm literally like bored I'm like what am I supposed to do like but yeah I haven't been doing anything but filming and uploading some content um, hopefully you guys are enjoying that um, so for today's video I wanted to do something more on the bronzy side I wanted to play with the supreme nudes palette by artist couture again but bringing something more on the softer bronzy and doing a more of a cat eye um, liner so that is what I want to do in today's video um, if you guys want to follow along go ahead and bring out your nude a nude palette or if you have the Supreme um, Nude Palette by Artist Couture, then go ahead and bring that out. If you have not seen me do a full-on review on this palette, I did more of a glam smoky eye. I will link it right here so you guys can definitely check that video out. Also, I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a Morphe in collab with um, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Um, I will also link the video here. So of course, first things first is I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Eden Primer. You guys know that this is my dram, but you can use concealer or foundation. Um, I've also heard people like using the MAC um, Painterly Paint Pot. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That was an oldie, an oldie, oldie. Like if you did not have that in your YouTube videos, which I never did. Because <laughs> I just started taking YouTube serious like um, a year ago. Uh, but that, I remember watching a lot of YouTubers using that constantly in their videos. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma um, F75 brush to apply it. But any concealer brush will work. I just like using a flat concealer brush because I can get right underneath my brows. I'm just gonna carve it out and then start to fill it in. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use this amount of product. You really don't. Um, I like to use a lot just because I feel like I really want to cover my entire lid. I don't wanna, I don't wanna see my skin or any discoloration peeking through. And FYI, before anybody comes at me and is like, that's way too much. I'm like, I know girl, I know, but I like it. And then to buff it out, I'm just using this Morphe brush. Um, unfortunately, the number has rubbed off, so I have no idea what number this is. Um, I think I got it in a set. I know I always say that, but there's always new people here on my channel. So in case you guys are wondering, this is a old brush. Okay, so once again, I'm going into the um, Artist Couture. This is the Supreme Nudes palette. So freaking bomb. I'm going to go into the shade called Nudist. This is the shade right here. And we're going to place this all over our crease. I'm going to go in with a more fluffier brush. I'm going to use my Morphe R40. Pick up some of the product here so you guys can see. And I'm using more of a fluffy brush because I want to cover up my lid. So I don't really want it to be super precise. I just want my lid to be covered and look bronzy. And then with whatever you have left, just go in and start to flick it towards the outer corner. Because once again, we're doing a more cat eye look. So we definitely want this section right here to be pulled back like this. But as you guys can see, I haven't gone back to grab any more product because we are gonna use up whatever we have on our brush. And then what I'm gonna do, you guys, is just look up. And I'm gonna take it down towards the lower lash line. Okay, so still using the same Morphe R40. I'm gonna go into the shade called Eccentric, which is this shadow right here. And we're gonna place it, you guys, just um, the way that we place nudist. And we're gonna focus this towards the outer corner again. And then whatever you have left, start to buff it in towards the crease. I just love how these eyeshadows, you guys, are so creamy and so smooth that I don't have to worry about them getting chalky or not even um, be worried that they're not gonna blend really well together. There's sometimes palettes that the colors don't blend well from the same palette and this just, blends really nicely it just looks so soft and creamy on my eyes just can't get enough okay, so now i'm gonna go into this um flat brush from mac 239s which you guys will see right here it's just a nice flat brush i will link it down below i think you can only buy it um 
at the Mac store. I don't think you can find this online. I think I tried looking for it, but if you can look for it, let us let us know in the comments. Um, but I, I can't find it online. The um, main lid, as you guys can see, we didn't apply any color or anything on there because we're gonna go into the shade called Exposed, which is that bone shadow right here. So what you're gonna do is just apply it like up here. Cause I did go a little bit higher than usual on my transition shadows. But we're gonna go out like that. I just love how this palette has a bone color. Like I just love, love, love that it has that. Because there's a lot of clients sometimes that love to use more of a matte eyeshadow look and sometimes some palettes don't have a, a bone color like this and sometimes you need one i'm just going back into that r40 brush by morphe and just start to smooth it out with no product now it's time to bring out the eyeliner so i want to go into something more brown and bronzy rather than black you can totally go into black if that is the way that you want to go but i want to go into this eyeliner from the feline flick um this is in the shade super brown by charlotte tilbury and i just want something more bronzy and i'll show you guys here how pretty this is like it's so so pretty so what i'm gonna do you guys i don't like a very um thick liner i like it to be very thin and i want it to be really close to the lash line because i want this to be more of a cat eye but i don't want to like overpower it um which you guys are gonna see in just a second what i mean i just want it to be very classy and small and not too thick that's why i actually really like this liner too because it's so pointy and i feel like it's really gonna give me that cat eye effect that i'm looking for for my liners i like to start from the outer corner and then go up like that and then i'll take it down like this lay down my eyeliner liquid liner and go like that and then I will still, I'm still gonna lay down my liner like this and try to attach it really close to the lash line because I want it to look very, very thin. And then what we're gonna do right here, you guys, is take it out like this, like further out, and then lay down like this again and get it close to the inner corner. And we're just gonna stop right here because in the waterline, we're gonna go in with a dark brown pencil. Okay, so now for the waterline, you guys, I'm gonna go in to the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Demolition. And this is gonna go right into our waterline, but we're not gonna take it towards the lower lash line. We just wanna mainly put this here because then we're gonna go in with some brown um, eyeshadow and connect it really close to the lower lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with my MAC 266 and I'm gonna go into the shade called Mink, which is that dark brown from this palette. And what we're gonna do is place it really close to the lower lash line. And I'm gonna use this small detail brush by Morphe. And I'm gonna go back into that shade called Mink again. And I'm gonna place it towards the outer corner just to smudge out this liner out here so it looks more blended than harsh. So it should start looking something like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of lashes. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just curl and add a mascara and then I will be right back to apply the falsies with you guys. So for lashes, you're going to kill me because I don't remember which brand these are from. I know, I'm so sorry. I hate not having lashes with their names on them because I literally put them aside into like um, a little jar that I have here. Um, so I don't know which um, brand these are from um if i do end up finding out which brand these are i will link them down below for you guys but the reason why i like this pair of lashes is because um towards the outer corners um it goes from short to longer um and i feel like this is like the perfect lash for this style since we do have a cat eye going on so i decided to go ahead and film the skin portion as well for you guys i'm gonna go into the urban decay all nighter face primer as per usual and for foundation you guys i'm gonna go into to the 24 hour super stay full coverage foundation by Maybelline and I am in the shade 120 classic ivory and I'm gonna use my real techniques beauty sponge to apply my foundation also you guys I'm so sorry that I don't use new products I feel like I need to venture out and try new things for you guys I know that I always say that in my videos but 
I really really want to try my best and play with new things um, which I think I'm gonna do once this whole thing is like over with the coronavirus I really want to venture out and try new things and go shopping and get new products to try out but for concealer I'm definitely gonna be switching it up today we're gonna go old school and I'm gonna go into my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 now this is definitely a oldie but a goodie I used to use this concealer so much back in the day I was like I need to finish this concealer and I'm almost done um, so I just thought, why not? Let's bring it out today and play with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, since it doesn't have a um, spoolie, you literally just have to like pump it out. I'm going to go in with my Sigma again, the F75 concealer brush. And I'm going to apply this like this. And I think it's going to be a little too bright. So let me just, since I already put it on, I'm just going to put it right here. I'm actually going to mix it with the NC30. Woo! Yes way better okay i'm gonna add that nc15 once we are done to add more brightness and just a little bit on my chin um so now to cream contour we're gonna go back to my um fenty beauty in the shade 360 their pro filter concealer i've been obsessed with using this brush you guys to cream contour this is from alamar cosmetics it's their brightening brush but i love to use it to apply my cream contour so while we let this concealer set for a little bit I'm gonna go in to the cream contour and start to buff it into the skin very lightly. I don't wanna add too much product. Take it towards the sides of the face, forehead, and try to get it as close to the hairline as possible. Using my Morphe E30, I'm gonna use this to apply the nose contour on the sides like this, and then take whatever we have left towards the brows. I'm going to go into my Real Technique sponge and start to blend out the concealer. And also, it's okay if you get it into the eyeshadow like I just did right here. At the end, we'll just go ahead and fix that with some eyeshadow again. I forgot, you guys, how good this concealer is. Like, oh my god. Okay. So I do want a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in again to the MAC Pro Longwear, just a little bit. I just want a little bit more of brightness. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. And while this is gonna set for a little bit, then I'm gonna start to apply my bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go back to my Bahama Mama bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. And I'm gonna go in to my Sigma F40 brush now i've been loving this technique lately you guys is applying my bronzer right after my creams i just love the way that it just looks so smooth and so silky i just love it and then once we go in with our setting powder this will set um the bronzer but i just love how it just looks so pretty i love applying this after my creams if you guys have not tried this yet you should because you will like it i love it and then with whatever i have left you guys on my brush i do take it into my cheeks just a little bit this will also give me a nice bronzy look so i'm gonna go back into that morphe e30 brush and picking up some of that bronzer and just do my nose and it's okay that we have this concealer here because this will allow to blend out the edges of the bronzer Okay, so I'm gonna go back into that sponge and just start to blend this out. But instead of going like this, you guys, I'm just patting. I'm patting this concealer in. Okay, so now at this point, it's time to apply your translucent powder. Now you guys already know that this is my jam. I absolutely love the setting powder. It's from Maybelline. It's the Loose Powder in the shade Light 01. Just set my makeup, bake under this area right here. And then with whatever you have left on the sponge, just start to push it into the skin. I only wanna bake underneath here. And then for the rest, you just wanna push it into the skin. And now for blush, you guys, I'm gonna go into Benefit's Dandelion. So I'm gonna go into this color right here. So pretty, I feel like it's perfect for this look. And to apply my blush, I'm gonna go into my Sigma Powder Blush, the F10. So you guys can see, it gives me a little bit of color, but not too much, it's really subtle. I'm just gonna buff out this blush. Oh, I love this blush so much. If you guys don't have this in your collection, you need this in your life so you guys to dust this off i'm gonna go into my sigma my sigma my morphe r13 brush and i'm gonna go into this this is um 
from the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's the shade Vanilla. Do you guys remember those kits? I think I still have one of those contour kits. So to dust this off, I just go in with this powder and then dust it away. But as you guys notice, I'm only keeping it in this section right here. I'm not going out too much because that's where I want my bronzer to be. I don't want that to be too highlighted. I just want to mainly focus right here. And, oh, Love that. For highlight today, I'm gonna go into this one from Be Bella Cosmetics and collab with Jenny Rivera. This one is called Dama Divina. Love the packaging, so pretty. I'm gonna go into, of course, my Artist Couture AC03 brush right here. Ooh, so bronzy. I love this. So whenever you take pictures and you smile, this will glow in your pictures. And I just love how this looks. Apply it right there. When I smile, I'm gonna apply some on the bridge of my nose and just whatever I have left above my brows. Okay, so it's time for lips. Now, I know that I'm always saying that I'm so obsessed with this lip pencil and I know that it's currently sold out online on KKW Beauty. This is the one that, that they collaborated with Mario in the shade called Beauty Icon. This lip pencil, you guys, so bomb, I love it. But I found a dupe for you guys. I think it really reminds me a lot of the Morphe Sweet Tea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them so you guys can see. So here we have um, Sweet Tea from Morphe. Last time that I've checked, their lip pencils are only $4. And then here we have Beauty Icon from KKW Beauty and collab with Mario. Do you have a similarity there, right? You're welcome, you guys. I was going through my lip pencils and I was like, okay, I need to find a dupe for you guys because I know that this has been sold out and I don't even think they're gonna bring it back out again, to be honest. So with that said, since I found a dupe, I'm gonna go into the Morphe Sweet Tea lip pencil and I'm gonna start to outline my lips. I know you guys have seen this numerous of times, so I'm just gonna fast forward, okay? <laughs> and then for lipstick, I'm gonna go into the Artist Couture, again, the shade called Saucy, Saucy Gal. So pretty, I honestly can't get enough of it. It is gorgeous. And of course, tapping with my finger to remove any extra product so it looks more matte. And I almost forgot um, to apply mascara on my lower lashes. Of course, I'm going to go into the Roller Lash by Benefit. And now the final step, you guys, is to set our makeup. So I'm going to go into the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. I've been loving this setting spray, you guys. I really like the way um, overall the Morphe setting sprays have been really, really great to me. The black one, which is not matte, I just love the way that these spray they spray it like an actual hairspray and i love it mm, see i just love the way that that sprays so bomb that is pretty much it you guys for today's um eyeshadow look um this cat brown smoky eye look i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it um i incorporated my skin as well because i know that you guys love to see that too in my videos so like i said you guys please let me know what other videos you want to see here on my channel um if it's not it's okay if it's not makeup related just let me know what you want to see and i will do that for you guys i love you all very very much besitos los quiero mucho and i will see you guys in the next one bye